my comment section on one of my videos that he did not want to watch my videos because he thought that my name supported racism. And so my first thought for this person was how does Rami, <laughs> how does the name Rami support racism? Like, I was so confused. And so he tells me, he tells me, um, what if there was a channel named the white tech experience? And then I laughed because I was all like, okay, I see what he's talking about. Like, if there was this guy who was fla flaunting his his whitehood, I don't know, his Caucasianism, if for the lack of a better word, that some people would try to make this guy feel ashamed to be white. And so because of that, he feels that me being proud of my blackness and boasting it on my channel is me flaunting the power that I have that he does not. And so I told the guy, I sent the dude a message. I was like, I, uh, I understand where you're coming from. If I saw somebody had a channel named the white tech experience, I wouldn't care. I would think good for that person. So. You don't have to watch the video if you want, don't want to. And thank you for letting me know how you feel. And then some, and then funny enough, the guy said, all right, I'll watch the video now. And so I bring this up to you guys because I want to address the topic in this video. Is the black tech experience racist? The answer is absolutely not. I really hope that people of all races can enjoy my content and find meaning out of out of my career, my perspective, and my opinions. Does that mean that I have don't have a favoritism towards black people or anything? I think it's a major goal, like the whole purpose of this channel. And if you don't know me, my story is that you know, when I wanted to be in computer science in high school, my teacher told me that she didn't even think I was, you know, I would enjoy coding. It was something that she felt like was for people more intelligent. And she thought I was going to struggle and she wanted to do me a favor of not allowing me to be in her class, stopping me from being in her class, right? And so that moment in my life is so pivotal because coding turned out to be my calling in life, my purpose, something that I've dedicated the last 10 years of my life studying and doing. And so I want to give back. I really do want black people to see me in a positive light, see what it looks like to be a software engineer, see what it looks like to be a proud nerd. This is, this is number, maybe not number one, but it is in my core business propositions when I started this channel. And so I don't think that I have to sacrifice that goal in order to also talk to a wider audience as well. So, by the way, I've also want to go out and say that I've had many numerous white mentors, people who had nothing to gain by helping me that have helped me become the software engineer that I am today, have helped me believe that I could bust into these rooms. I failed my uh, internship with Google, but one of my hosts 
he told me before he left that he thought I was going to have a superb career. And he was really excited for me to see where I would go. And every time, like, I remember when I was coding my room at night and I failed all these interviews, I always remembered that statement that somebody believed in me, that they thought I could you know, be a star in this field because I've had both. I've had people who who have talked to me like I'm an idiot, right? Who talked down to me, who who have who have told me that, you know, I just don't think you're good enough, right? And I've had people who think, who see the genius in me and want to cultivate that and want to help me. And so I think that goes way beyond skin color. And just like that, I want to go way beyond my skin color to help you, whoever you may be at this moment watching this video. However, not however, and I see that my own black community is suffering in this regard. We don't see people like me. So I just want to address that to start off this live. Uh, I'm not mad at anybody. I'm not mad at the viewer. I would have put his name up because I, I like the guy. I think, you know, I like anybody who would spend the time to share their opinions about my content or how they're perceiving me, how I could do this thing better. I just don't want anybody to argue with the guy. Uh, I don't want anybody to feel like to antagonize the dude because I like that guy, <laughs> you know. I, you know, some people troll me, excuse me, some people troll me and they don't, you know, I, I can't get any better with people like that, but um, whatever feedback that you have for me, I know my channel is not the best just yet. It's a work in progress. It's a proof of concept. And I'm happy with anybody who is sharing this journey with me. So, yep, yeah, wanted to start off the black tech experience is not racist. If you're in the chat right now and you want me to answer anything, just let me know. I think I'm just streaming on YouTube today. I just want to try it out to see what that might look like. But definitely want to dedicate this video to all my mentors, um, Lee Bo, Chris Tigner, Shang uh, Wu, uh, Khalil, like there's so many people who black and non-black Marshall Gilson, who have helped me throughout my career. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's get into it. Let me get back. <laughs> 